Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. It's a Wednesday, believe it or not. It's the 22nd day of July. It is National Panoush Fudge Day. I've never had that. Panoush Fudge. P-E-N-U-C-H-E. Okay. I don't know. I might be saying it wrong. National Hammock Day. We'll circle back to that in a second. I've got a fun hammock story. Uh, rat Catcher's Day and National Hot Dog Day. So I like hot dogs. Not a big fan of rats or catching them. Uh, back into the hammock. A couple years back, you wanted to get a hammock. We got like a, what was it called? Like a, d- a double hammock? A double hammock. So your big plan was? We could snuggle. We could snuggle in this hammock. Yeah. And she brings home the hooks to hang up the hammock. And the hooks are just really hinky dinky little things. And I said, I don't think that's a good idea. And you're like, yeah, it's just fine. Put them on there. So I put it on. And then she gets on. She's like a human-sized person. <laughs> and she says, get on here with me. And I was like, I think that's a bad idea. <laughs> and I get on there. And it breaks the hooks. And we both crash yes, on did. the ground. <laughs> so that's not a good Turns way. Turns out he was right. Yeah, it's not a good way to celebrate National Hammock Day. Uh, we are going to celebrate, though, talking to... Perry Gilpin. If you don't recognize that name, you might re- recognize this one. Roz Doyle from Frasier. Oh, yeah. I loved Frasier. I loved it, too. And Roz has a fun new project called Old Guy. We're going to chat with her all about that coming up in a bit. Many people have dabbled in the stock market for their very first time ever this year. If you're new to the market, but you don't want to learn things the hard way and the expensive way, I encourage you to subscribe to this free newsletter. You can get the inside track with Wall Street's brightest minds delivered directly to your inbox every day at marketbeatminute.com. Subscribe for free. If you change your mind, just unsubscribe. Sign up for free right now at marketbeatminute.com. That's marketbeatminute.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. A recent study reveals that using a vacuum cleaner bag to make a do-it-yourself face mask is a highly efficient way to protect against contracting the spreading of COVID-19. Because the, the vacuum cleaner bag is built to filter out things like that. Mm-hmm. So it's a lot better than using like a handkerchief. Because mm. I've seen some like do-it-yourself masks that you're like, um, okay. <laughs> that makes you feel better. Uh, I've got a link to the story if you want to read all the details. It is in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Some credit cards have really high rates or big annual fees. Usually, people sign up for these when it's all they qualify for. If that sounds like you, it may be time to get a better credit card. Over time, your situation changes and you may qualify for a better credit card. Your current card hopes you don't think about it, but our site shows you many options to see if there's a better credit card for you. Check it out for free at bettercreditcards.com. That's bettercreditcards.com. This is your Brain on Drugs, brought to you by TimeForRehab.com. According to an arrest affidavit, a Florida man arrested for running in the street unclothed at 2.45 a.m. told police that he went for a jog naked after he was dared by a friend. 58-year-old Conrad Tucker did not... 58? Yeah. Did not seem bothered by the fact that he was nude in public view. It says here uh, he could not advise where he was staying or who this friend was. He did not have access to any clothing. He was listed as a transient in arrest records, charged with exposure of organs and misdemeanor, held in a in lieu of a hundred fifty dollar bond. His rap sheet includes convictions of disorderly intoxication, passing bad checks, resisting arrest, and driving with a suspended license. So, he's made some pretty bad choices. But I'm not sure what he was on that night, two forty five a.m. running naked in the street. Yikes! But you know it was something. That is what happens when your brain is on drugs. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. We've got Johnny Depp in the news here. Johnny's famous exes, Winona Ryder and Vanessa Party. Am I saying that right? Parties? I don't think you pronounce the S. Anyway. I have no idea. uh, Will not be called to testify in the divorce trial from Amber Heard because they already submitted statements to the court saying that he was never violent towards them. And he finished testifying in his divorce after 23 hours on the stand in total. Holy cow, for a divorce? For a divorce, yeah. Um, Empire star uh, 
Bryshi Gray was arrested for domestic violence against his wife. I don't know if I said that right. I hope so. And the NFL, I know that's not really big screen, little screen, but you see it on the little screen, so it kind of is. It is. They've partnered with Oakley Sunglasses on new face shields that will protect players while they're on the sea, on the uh, the field, and that is if the season resumes or when the season resumes. It says when, but online, like I had several people that commented, their only comment was if. If the season resumes. So okay. there's some that are thinking that that ain't going to happen. So I think it go. probably will. I don't know. It'd be nice to get everything back to normal. And I guess when, when it happens, it happens. I've got uh, a link to that story in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. We're here to make it better. If you find that drug or alcohol problems are hitting you too close to home, you can get help. Maybe it's time for rehab. Your insurance may even cover everything. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. Get help for a drug or alcohol problem within 24 hours. We're here to make it better. Get more information at timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Time now for your scoop of the day. It comes your way courtesy of insurancechicken.com. I do not get this magazine. Um, In Style Magazine. Do you get that, Heidi? No, but I'm really surprised you don't with your Crocs and all. <laughs> I know I'm I'm very in style. Uh, no, I'm not. Uh, for uh, ten dollars, who would you guess is on the cover of that? I have no idea. That's good because I don't have ten dollars. Doctor Anthony Fauci on the cover of In Style magazine. Really? That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I could see him being on the cover of many other magazines, but that one doesn't really make no. a ton of sense. Um, l- rapper Lil Pump spent $25,000 on a Gucci bicycle in Miami. He was shopping there at a place called The Arsenal. Sells luxury goods, including what? A Gucci bicycle. Yeah, Gucci bicycle. Uh, they sell luxury goods, including airplanes and submarines, and apparently Gucci bicycles, which I didn't know they didn't know they made you bicycles, but... Uh, I didn't have $10 a minute ago, so you know I'm probably not one of the people that market <laughs> You're too. probably not in the market for a bike. No. YouTube star Jake Paul is in hot water after hosting a massive party in California in his mansion despite the coronavirus lockdown there. So they're saying, yeah, you're not supposed to not supposed to do that. Um, a report says healthy pro- – the I'm sorry, let's say this the right way. The healthy properties of beer, when consumed in moderation, are a rich source of vitamins – fiber, minerals, and antioxidants, and beer has a relatively low caloric value compared to many other alcoholic beverages. The report, commissioned by the Beer Academy, of course, of course, aims to help people enjoy beer sensibly. And it says that when consumed in moderation, it's one of the healthiest el- alcoholic drinks available. So, there you go. <clears throat> what else would they say? It's the Beer Academy. I'm pretty sure they're not going to say, yeah, it's not good for you. But that's good news. Yeah, it's That great should have news. been our good news for the no, day. No, it should not. <laughs> a review of major studies found that one third of the things that studies said were good for you turned out to actually be bad for you. So, oh. I didn't mean to put that right after that other study. I was going to say. I honestly did not. Conveniently that just, placed. That just happened to land right where it happened to land, all on its own. Thank you for listening to your scoop of the day right here on The John and Heidi Show. Do you pay too much for insurance? Have you looked around? Or are you too chicken? Don't be afraid to look around to see if you can find a better deal at insurancechicken.com. We make it super simple for you to see rates from several different companies, to see what they have to offer, all in one place. Heck out great insurance deals at insurancechicken.com. Is it time for you to cross the road? See if we can save you money each month at insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Our guest today is Perry Gilpin, and you might know her like I know her from Frasier. She was Roz Doyle. So, uh, uh, Perry, I'm listening. How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. Get another fun project you're a part of. It's a new show called Old Guy. Tell me a little bit about Old Guy. Well, Old Guy is it's based on some friends of mine. They have a production company called Five Sisters Productions, and there are five sisters, and two of the sisters are really good friends of mine from when we all first moved to L.A., and they wrote this script about their dad's experience and their mom's when they retired from teaching college and they came out to L.A. and their dad wanted to be with his family, but he also wanted to return to his dream of being an actor. So he started auditioning and he actually 
started getting a lot of work. You know, every job he went in on, he got, but it was all like adult diaper wearers or, you know, a cadaver or things like that, that, um, you know, he was sort of thinking, aren't there better roles for people my age is everything like this? So they wrote a very funny script about ageism in Hollywood. And I, I think they really captured our industry and the attitude towards it, And but they also did it in a very good-natured, big-hearted way. I think that's really cool. And I think there are a lot of people who maybe don't quite understand how that works. Yeah, we all feel like there's, a, you know, cogs in the wheel. So the older people represent something, rather than being real people with real lives, you know, they just were kind of there as a, the butt of a joke. You know, but then actually the jokes that are in the script that they're the butt of are very funny. So you see that there's a reason why it's like that. It works. But you you also see that you could go a little deeper and it would work just as well. So let's let's talk uh, again. We'll come back to old guy here in a minute. But I, I have to if I don't talk a little bit about Frasier, everybody's going to be upset because that program was on so long and it was such a well written program. And I loved your character and just the relationship you had with Fraser and how you guys kind of uh, ribbed each other. What was it like working as that character for as long as you did? D- did it kind of almost like overtake your life and you become Roz Doyle, or did you? Was it easy enough to kind of keep that a separate thing? No, I think I, I think it definitely felt like I became her or she became me in a lot of ways. And you know, when you do a sitcom, anything could happen, you don't have a script with a beginning, middle, and end so that you have all the information right here. If I could find out I had a brother or sister I never knew anything about in the episode. Do you know what I mean? They're constantly adding things on. So they use you and they use your strengths and, you know, the things that they find funny about you. And and so I really remember thinking when we finished, I, I really want to get back to myself, you know, but right now I really am this person in a weird way, because it was 11 years. 11 years, we watched it, and the thing that I thought I loved it so much, because I'm a radio guy, and it happened to be, you know, about radio, and then I find out a lot of people who have nothing to do with the radio industry loved it just as much as I did, maybe some even more, because it was just such a a real fun show and so well written, and then everybody on it did such a great job becoming that character. Yeah, and they they really it was so beautifully written. So, you know, that's the thing when you would get the script every week, the new script, you would just you couldn't believe what what they'd written for you to do as an actor. You know, just fantastic writing, great stories, great premise, and it's the perfect thing to take. You know. Kelsey Grammar, who played Fraser, of course, you know, what a perfect place to take Fraser, you know, from Boston when he moved back home to Seattle to take him to the radio. I just thought that was brilliant. It really was. And we've binge watched it now. You can watch it on Netflix and you can watch it online. We've binge watched many episodes and it still holds up today, which is just amazing. You know, it's going to be on Peacock. I think it's going to start on Peacock, which is the new um, NBC kind of on demand. Oh, nice. That is fantastic. Let's They're go back do to all 11 seasons. That is awesome. Let's get back to Old Guy. Where can we find this, and and, uh, where can we tune in and watch all of the episodes of Old Guy? On YouTube. And uh, just just type in Old Guy, and it's there. It's like you can watch the whole thing in 25 minutes. It's a a web series category, and the the episodes are like three to five minutes long, and they're they're quick, but they're very, very funny, and they're very uh, very memorable. Well, we're going to throw a link. Don't forget watching it. (laughs) Awesome. We're going to throw a link to that to make it easy to find. Perry, thank you again. Thank you. So the, nice talking to you, John. Very nice to talk to you as well. The program is called Old Guy. It just premiered. I've got a link to it in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Many people have dabbled in the stock market for their very first time ever this year. If you're new to the market, but you don't want to learn things the hard way and the expensive way, I encourage you to subscribe to this free newsletter. You can get the inside track with Wall Street's brightest minds delivered directly to your inbox every day at marketbeatminute.com. Subscribe for free. If you change your mind, just unsubscribe. Sign up for free right now at marketbeatminute.com. That's marketbeatminute.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? China censored the word censorship. They literally don't have a word for the word censorship, so you can't be guilty of a crime if nobody can actually describe what it is. So there's no word for censorship in China. That's terrifying. Kind of is. So I don't know if that's a fun fact or a freaky fact, but it is today's, whatever you want to call it, fact, right here on the John and Heidi Show.
Some credit cards have really high rates or big annual fees. Usually, people sign up for these when it's all they qualify for. If that sounds like you, it may be time to get a better credit card. Over time, your situation changes and you may qualify for a better credit card. Your current card hopes you don't think about it, but our site shows you many options to see if there's a better credit card for you. Check it out for free at bettercreditcards.com. That's bettercreditcards.com. Time now for a news headline from somewhere in this world, Dateline, England. A video of a British cat that's a little chubby, that looks like a cow, because of its markings, has gone viral. The good news is the video has gotten 10 million views already. How cool is that? Yeah. So uh, I don't know why it says the good news is, but I'm going to take that out. So it just says the video has gotten. Does that make any sense to you? The good news is the video has gotten 10 million views? Well. I don't know. 10 million views, that's a lot. They're probably making money off of it. Yeah, good for them. I didn't make anything on it, so we're going to move on. <laughs> uh, this has been A News Headline from somewhere in this world. We're here to make it better. If you find that drug or alcohol problems are hitting you too close to home, you can get help. Maybe it's time for rehab. Your insurance may even cover everything. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. Get help for a drug or alcohol problem within 24 hours. We're here to make it better. Get more information at timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Now some weird news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. A man, a man from Michigan uh, said he snapped during a nasty domestic spat with another man in a parking lot. Uh, 26-year-old Pren Prek J of Waterford, Michigan, charged with simple domestic assault after the incident. He said they were having an argument when Preck J struck the man numerous times in the face while he was sitting in the driver's seat of his vehicle. The victim said the altercation carried outside the vehicle where the, he hit him numerous other times in the parking lot. He told the deputy that he snapped and the altercation turned physical. He refused to provide any further information after being read his rights. He was taken to the Marion County Jail, where he was uh, released on Friday on a $500 bond. Does not say why he snapped. So I'm trying to figure out what were they fighting about. It doesn't matter. They were fighting and he snapped. Okay. How does that make national news? <laughs> I don't That kind know. of thing happens all the time. I'm just lost. It is definitely today's weird news. Time now for your Moment of Duh, brought to you by InsuranceChicken.com. Two stolen surveillance cameras helped the Sheriff's Department in Arizona identify and locate the theft, the suspects of their theft, of in their theft. <laughs> what was that? The suspects <laughs> who done stole them their cameras. <laughs> According to uh, court records, 33-year-old Mindy K. Valencia and 42-year-old Mark A. Jimenez both charged with burglary in the third degree for allegedly taking the cameras. It says here that they uh, went to the BHP Billington Mining Company, uh, and they went in and stole some cameras. Cameras are used to monitor the property. Each camera has the ability to send photos to a cell phone and track its own location via GPS. Oh, cool. The GPS unit in one of the cameras reported its location at a home. When they went there, they said they uh, sat near the residence and observed Mr. Jimenez walking back and forth between the home and a light brown truck. And that's when they arrested them and found the cameras in their possession. So Those are the kind of cameras we need. Those I think are everybody needs really them. cool cameras. That is a really, really cool idea. I've got a link to that story in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Do you pay too much for insurance? Have you looked around? Or are you too chicken? <laughs> Don't be afraid to look around to see if you can find a better deal at insurancechicken.com. We make it super simple for you to see rates from several different companies, to see what they have to offer, all in one place. Heck out great insurance deals at insurancechicken.com. Is it time for you to cross the road? See if we can save you money each month at insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. Time now for fake news or Florida. Heidi, tell me, is this a true story from the great state of Florida, or is it fake news made up to trick you and amuse me? Are you ready? I'm ready. Right, tell me, fake news or Florida? Gainesville, Florida man arrested for cutting off his wife's lover's manhood uh-huh. Okay. after he caught them together. Fake news or Florida? 
I'm going to say Florida. It is a true story. Yeah. And all I have to say about that is, ouch. Yeah, there's a lot of freaks in Florida. Would you just... (laughs) (laughs) Fake news or Florida. That's not freaky news. No, that is a bad idea. uh, You don't want to mess around with another man's wife because something like that can happen. Just be be good to each other. Don't do that. (laughs) There's a whole lesson we can have here, but we're going to just move on. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news. And I think this is good news. Comes your way courtesy of bettercreditcards.com. So eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Which story do I do first? How about this one right here? Because I got so many good stories that have been shared. By the way, thank you to everybody that shares these good stories. Here's one. Um, Amazon driver delivers package to a man with cancer and then returns with a card and some flowers. I think this is really cool. And it's probably not a bad time for delivery people to get you know a good news story because there's some bad news stories about delivery people floating around too. Carlos Pagan and his wife Denise have a sign posted on their door to let visitors know why they cannot answer the door. He was diagnosed with blood cancer back in March, currently undergoing chemotherapy. Their delivery driver, Antonio, read the note, posted outside, and left and returned later with another package, some cards, and a heartfelt message. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, some flowers with a card and a heartfelt message. Uh, It says, it really touched me, Carlos said. For him, especially after he delivered our package, to come back, so he went out of his way to purchase flowers and a card and bring it back to the house. Antonio returned a week later to check in on Carlos. The two met through the window this time. He said he wasn't delivering any packages to us on Sunday. He just wanted to make sure that uh, that uh, make sure whoever was undergoing the cancer treatment was okay. Aww. And he said his eyes brightened up when we saw him and told him, I want you to know that uh, you're going to be okay and you're going to be walking soon, is what he said to that young man. So he says, I thanked him and told him it meant a lot to me. Uh, and he just said he had to do something for someone that doesn't even know me to come up to my window and say, in a couple of months, you're going to be okay and you're going to be up and walking. It's just awesome what he did. It was absolutely awesome. I've got a link to the story, and you can see the little note that he has written here from uh, Antonio, Amazon driver, it says on the note. That is so cool. That is very, very cool. And and like I said, um, there are good people out there. If you look for them, you'll find so many good stories. And if you do find one, I love it when you share it with me. You can do that through our website, johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Wednesday.